Hi guys, welcome to the Killian family homestead. Forgive me, I stuck my thumb in the honey right there. And yes, it's good. Okay, this video clip is gonna talk about um, drone comb culling, okay? So it's true that um, Varroa mite, right before the, the um, cell gets um, capped, they jump into the cell with the larva and they feed off of its hemolymph or blood and then they lay eggs, they have their progeny, uh, and then the male one, um, varroa mite dies, and the three or four or five females uh, escape out once the honey, the bee larva, um, baby bee, ex escapes out of the cell. That is how varroa destructor, um, you know, reproduces and populates. So. You guys, one thing you can do, because the drone comb is larger, is you can cull out drone comb. And what that means is you just cut it out. Okay, so so this, this frame right here has foundation all the way to here, and then I let the bees build what they're gonna build. And in this comb, they decided to build nothing but drone comb. So I'm gonna cull this out so that um, I can potentially grab some of the varroa that's in here, if there is any, and throw them out. Now, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is not capped all the way, so I would be wasting it if, if both sides were like that. But the other side is fully capped, uh, pretty much. So I'm going to be cutting that out. And here is another one that is uh, more fully capped that I will be cutting out. And there's the one that I just cut out. It's simple. You just take your hive tool and you just carve it out back there. When you put this frame back in the hive, you've got to make sure that you put it checkerboard side by side with a comb that is already drawn out. If you don't, they can get bridge comb and cross comb and all kinds of weird things if you put too much space. So a lot of people will take that comb and they'll uh, melt it down and make candles and stuff like that. I just, I don't have a desire to mess with that stuff. so. What I prefer to do is toss it to the chickens and turkeys, and uh, they'll make an egg out of it, if you know what I mean. So, and one, once they've discovered all these little larvae that are in there, and these of course are the bigger larvae because it's drone comb, they love it. The turkeys don't quite know what to do with it, but the chickens have figured it out. If you're worried about the wax, plugging up the chicken system or something like that. Don't worry, mine are free range and they get lots and lots of rocks and stuff to keep things moving. And plus, they're just gonna take the larva out of the cell. They're not gonna eat the comb that, uh, you know, is the base of the comb, so. The two little chicks are doing great. I'm surprised they survived, but they are doing well. They feathered out, so they, looks like one is a Buff Orpington Plymouth Barred Rock Cross and the other one is a Buff Orpington. Hmm. I don't know. I don't really have. Maybe a red star cross. It's looking. At, it's got some dark coloration to it, so maybe it is a, a black Osterlor Buff Orpington cross. I don't know, but they're doing well. So I just wanted to show you the cycle that we have here at the farm. Thanks. Take care.